What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are unboxing and taking a first look at the cheapest 13 inch MacBook Pro that you can buy. So this one right here is the one um, using the quad core Intel i5 clocked at 1.4 GHz uh, but with a turbo boost up to 3.9 GHz. Now the base model comes with 128 gigs of internal storage, but I figured that's not gonna be enough for me, so I did get this one with 256 gigs of internal storage. But aside from that, everything is the same. We have the same 8 gigs of RAM, we have the same um, graphics card and so on. So after we are done with the unboxing, I also wanna run some benchmark um, tests on this because I wanna compare this with my 27 inch um, iMac. That's a 2017, um, iMac that's um, using the Intel i7 clocked at 4.1 GHz but to 24 gigs um, of RAM. So I'm curious to see what the difference in benchmark um, results will get between this one and that one. And once we're done um, with that we're also gonna do a bit of video editing on this one, some 4K files um, I plan on editing and once that's done I also want to export um, a 4K file between this one and that one so I can see the time difference um, in between the two. And with that being said, let's get this box open and check this out. Alright, so we get the same beautiful um, white box that we are used to seeing with a lot of um, Apple products. On the front we see a picture of the device itself and turning this around we can basically see the specifications. So that's about um, it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open this box. So that's simple. I just have to peel this um, plastic off the box. And next... Ta -da! So that's simple. We pull this out and uh, then we have the power adapter right here. The same power adapter that we've been seeing for a long, long time. And then we have the charging cable, which is a USB-C to a USB-C cable. So that's about it. And in here we should have, we should have those, um, those stickers, those Apple stickers, do we? Yeah. So the white Apple stickers, if you want to put them on your car or something, I don't know. So yeah, that's about it for the box. And next we are going to open the Mac. So again, we have a little plastic on it. And well, it looks just like all the other uh, MacBook uh, Pros that I've seen in the past. Now this is the 13 inch, so it's smaller, it's gonna be easier to carry around and that's the main reason why I got this because um, I wanted a computer that's small enough that I can take with me, well basically whenever I go on vacation. Alright, so on the left hand side we have the only two USB-C ports and you'd use this if you wanna charge the computer or if you wanna connect um, an external monitor or if you wanna connect a card reader or anything like that. On the front um, we have the little hole so you can actually open the screen. On the other side we have the 3.5mm audio jack and nothing on the back. And at the bottom we basically have um, the four um, rubber feet that we've been seeing with basically pretty much um, any other MacBook Pro in the past. So that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead um, and open this. So on the screen we have a little um, plastic protecting the screen and it starts up as soon as you open it up. We also have the touch bar right there and that's um, the fingerprint ID basically, the fingerprint um, scanner. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this up and once the setup is done, I'm gonna come um, come back, we'll run some benchmark tests um, and so on. All right, so setting this up only takes about five minutes or so, depending if you are setting this up as a new computer or not. And me personally, I'm coming from a 2014 MacBook Pro. And I have to say that I absolutely love how the keyboard feels on this one. And I also love the bigger um, trackpad. Now we also have that um, fingerprint ID. So if I lock the screen, then I can basically unlock the computer just by um, touching that um, fingerprint um, scanner. So I'll show you one, uh, one more time. So very, very convenient in my opinion because um, having to type your password every single time can become annoying mostly if you leave um, the computer on your desk um, at all times. So next um, I, wanna, I wanna show you the benchmark results. Um, I'm gonna run those and then I'll come back once I have those. But um, for now, I have to say that I am quite impressed with this computer, mostly after using that 2014 MacBook Pro for like four or five years um, already. So yes, this one feels much nicer, feels like a nicer um, refresh. Not to mention that now we have um, the touch bar um, at the top there. I'm not sure how useful the touch bar will be, but um, it's definitely a nice addition and makes the computer feel much more expensive than um, what it is. Alright, so I'll um, run those benchmark tests and I'll come back with the results. 
All right, so I ran the Geekbench for um, on this, and the multi-core score that we get is pretty high and much higher than I was actually expecting, considering that we have a quad-core um, CPU clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, and um, the single-core score is 4,789. Now comparing this to my 2017 iMac, well the scores are somewhat lower, but again, considering um, the processor that we have in this one and the processor that we have in the other one, I think this one did really really good. Alright, and moving on from that, I wanted to show you how the device would perform for some um, video editing. So I have Final Cut Pro X and I have a bunch of 4K video files um, right there. So I added some text, um, I'm also gonna change the colors on this. So. We'll go here, we'll go here, and I'm just gonna change the saturation a bit. You can already hear the computer, um, the fan inside of the computer um, revving up. So we'll leave that like that, we'll lower the exposure, so basically make the computer do a bit of um, work. And uh, so we'll put this a bit higher. And we'll leave it somewhere around here. And scrolling through your timeline now is not exactly smooth. I mean, on my uh, 2017 iMac, it is a bit smoother than this. But considering that we have an i5, a quad-core i5 um, clocked at 1.4 GHz, I think it does okay. So it's still okay for editing 4K files. I mean, it could be better, but definitely okay for the price. Because if you're looking for something more expensive, of course, you're going to have to spend um, way more money. So we'll change the saturation on this one as well. We'll leave it somewhere around there. We'll change the colors. I'm not sure if you can actually hear the computer revving up. That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm, I'm trying to get it to do some work so you can actually hear it um, revving up the fans um, inside. So um, next, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set the exact same files um, on my 27, um, 27 inch iMac and I'm gonna export the exact same file in 4K so you can see which device actually exports the file faster. So once I have those results, I'll come back so I can show you the, times, um, the time that it took to export that file on this computer and the time that it took to export it on the other, on the 27 inch iMac. And just before I start exporting this file, I also want to show the settings um, that I'm going to be using. Of course, everyone uses different settings, but these are the settings that um, I'm using for this and on the other computer. So I'm going to go to video format computer. I will select better quality. I will select the maximum resolution. So now I'm going to press next and we'll see how long it actually takes um, to export this file. So we are about two minutes in exporting this file, about two minutes and a half actually, and the fan inside the computer is really revving up, so I figured it would be a good opportunity to actually let you listen how it sounds. So I'm just gonna be quiet for a second. So you can definitely hear, uh, hear the fan, and if you place your hand behind the computer, you can also feel some um, warmer air coming out. So I just wanted to show you how that, um, that sounds whenever you are exporting a file. So I'll, uh, I'll wait uh, till this exports and then I'll tell you how long it actually took on both computers. And surprisingly enough, it only took the 13 inch MacBook Pro, the latest one, um, 4 minutes and 33 seconds to export that file versus 4 minutes and 21 um, seconds on my 27 inch 2017 iMac that's using an i7 processor. So definitely better um, better results than I, I was expecting for this 13-inch um, MacBook Pro. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for a base uh, model MacBook Pro, this is definitely one that you should consider, and it uh, performs better than um, it actually sounds on paper, because when you check those specs and you see that um, processor clocked at 1.4 GHz, it doesn't sound that great, but it actually performs better than it sounds. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, um, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.